Recently, I've been bitten by the rocket engine bug. I want to build a functioning rocket engine that produces a decent amount of thrust. So far, I got some results using 3D printed parts and some ingenuity. But in most cases, the engines burn down. Now, a lot of people would call that a failure. But to be fair, failure is just a matter of perspective. What if my goal is to burn the engines down? This video was brought to you by Blinkist. A few videos ago I was testing one of my Vortex rocket engines and as usual it burned down. There's nothing special about that, but even when I turned off the propane fuel, the engine kept burning intensively. I was only able to make it stop once I turned off the oxygen. At first this was really weird to me, but then it hit me. The oxygen was using the resin from the rocket's body as fuel. Now this leads to a very obvious question. Can I 3D print rocket fuel? And the answer, as usual in this channel, is... I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Those of you who know your rockets also know this is not a novelty. Rockets with a solid fuel and a gaseous or liquid oxidizer have been around for a long time and are called hybrid rocket engines. This kind of engine fits pretty nicely between the solid rocket engines and the liquid rocket engines. It's called hybrid because it has elements of both its neighbors. A solid fuel makes them mechanically simpler and safer while the liquid oxidizer makes them throttable. The big problem with solid rocket engines is the fact you can't throttle them. Once ignition starts, it burns until all the propellant is gone. Propellant is what you call the mixture of fuel and oxidizer. Liquid rocket engines, on the other hand, are throttable, but involve a lot of complex parts, which makes them really hard to build. The hybrid rocket engine seems like the obvious choice for me. So my next step was to 3D print some fuel. I found this interesting geometry online, composed of a double helix, a small chamber and a bell-shaped nozzle that is supposedly very efficient to burn solid fuel. I tried my best to replicate it using 3D modeling and I 3D printed it using common UV resin. I made three rockets with different nozzle diameters. As a method of ignition, I used those sparkly things you put on top of birthday cakes. I don't know how to say it in English. To be honest, I don't even know how to say it in Portuguese. I set up the rockets on a linear rail and gave them a test. <laughs> it's not it's not really it's not really combusting the entire engine, but it's still pretty cool. Oh shit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, the resin burned pretty well, but I still don't have what I want. Thrust. I mean, I guess resin is not as powerful as a fuel as I thought. I don't know a lot about solid fuels. The only other time that I used solid fuels was when I made my sugar rockets. And as the obvious name indicates, they used sugar as the fuel. It actually worked pretty well. Sugar is pretty powerful as a fuel. What, solution? What, you have a solution to my problem? You have a solution for my fuel? Wait, solution for my fuel? I could make a solution. A mix of sugar and resin. That would give me a 3D printable super powerful fuel. Yes! Yes, indeed. But first I needed to make sure I could burn the sugar with gaseous oxygen. And I could. After that was known, I decided to mix UV resin with sugar. Because I had no idea if this was going to print at all, I made solutions with different percentages of sugar. The first one had 10% sugar. And I called it Sweet Rush. Sweet Rush. The second at 30% sugar, and I called it Sugar Punch. Sugar punch. The third one was 50% enriched, and I called it Candy Bomb. And the last one was 70% sugar, and I called it Diabetic, Diabetic explosion. explosion. Actually, the last one was very thick. It didn't even look like resin anymore, it looked like glaze you put on cakes. I was pretty sure it wouldn't print, but it actually did. I mean, it was a mess and I wasn't able to test it, but still, pretty impressive. The rest of the rockets actually didn't print that bad, so I took them to the attic and gave them a test. Okay, oxygen! And it's at... 
I think the sugar is actually making a difference. But it's funny because it started like burning very slowly at the beginning and then it accelerated. And you can tell there's like there's a big portion of sugar burning out. There's a sweet smell on the air. Yes, it smells like caramel. I'm not I'm, I'm not even joking. It actually smells like caramel. Anyway, to the 30%. Let's do this. Okay, time to test the 30% rocket which is being baptized as Sugar punch. Hoyo! Okay, that's cringe. Let's test the rocket. Yeah! Did you see that, Katrina? It moved! It moved! Yeah! It's still not the best design, though. But he moved a little bit. Oh, he did! I'm curious to see what the 50% will do. Let's go. There's a hole through the engine. I truly need to change the design. Yes, I needed to change the design. The exotic double helix crane was not burning the fuel evenly. So, to make sure I would get a better burn, I 3D printed two simpler uh, grains, one with the Dulaval nozzle and another one with the Aerospike nozzle. That, w that took a long time to finish. That was pretty amazing. I mean... It's still not producing any thrust. Look, it ate, it ate the, the rocket from the inside out. The resin is not too bad as a fuel. It's not too energetic, but it works, it burns, and it produces like an exhaust. That's cool enough, I guess. Getting there, and oxygen. And is broke. It was kind of an interesting show. Then it accelerated because it got more surface area. Why am I not uh, putting this fire out? <sighs> oh, you bastard! Sponsor time. My grandfather always used to say, "Tomatoes are disgusting," which is 100% true. But he also used to say, "Always use the right tool for the right job," which is very helpful advice. For example, if I'm crushing a tomato, I like to use my own hands. But if the task at hand is to choose a book, I like to use Blinkist. Blinkist is an app on your phone that condenses books into blinks that you can read or listen to in a matter of minutes. If you have no time to read the entire book, you can use Blinkist as a way to save time and get only the raw information. But you can also use Blinkist as a sort of a trailer for the original book, which also guarantees that you're not wasting your money. I recently listened to The Rocket Man by Robert Curson while I was 3D modeling the parts for this video. It's a motivating book that tells the story about the Apollo 8 mission and the first man that got moon sand on their shoes. Blinkist is a great tool and not at all expensive. If you're interested, the first 100 people to click the link www.blinkist.com intexa will get unlimited access for a week and 25% discount if you decide to go for the full membership. By using the link in the description down below, you're not only making yourself more efficient, but also helping me make more videos like this. And to that I say... Dankeschön! Back to the video. Okay, so the sugar in rich resin is working much better. And the simple grain helps the fuel burn in an even way. But I'm still not getting thrust enough. Maybe 3D printing my own fuel was just a bad idea. Are you giving up? No, I'm not I a coward. Care. So, I heard you caught some of my killers. By killers do you mean those little ninjas that were attacking me since the beginning of the video? I killed almost all of them. You bastard. And the rest of them? Are you keeping them prisoners? Yeah, prisoners. What do you want in return for them? You know what I want. No. Come on, you have to say it. Mm, fine. 
Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to Intagza and smash that like button. <laughs> that was wonderful. Okay, now give me my killers. No, there's something missing and you know it. What? The epiphany? I make those by accident. You want me to just come up with a solution for your stupid plastic rockets here on the spot? It's not plastic, it's sugar-enriched resin. Wait, wait, I haven't tried plastic. That actually might work. Oh ho ho, I'm a genius. No, you're disgusting. And by the way, I killed all your tomatoes. You deceiving little prick. I'll get you for this in Texas. Eh? The plastic that I chose was ABS, because it's abundant and derived from petroleum, which in some degree should make it a good fuel. I 3D printed some different grains using the Not Jordan at 100% infill. After they were done, I gave them a go. The light! Did you see the light? I saw Rob. <laughs> wow! Wow! That's amazing! Oh god! It sounded like a demon, like crying out from hell! Yeah! Oh god, it smells like burnt tires! Ignition! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Mr. Rocket! And it's over! Jesus Christ, that's, that's right! That's so right! Who needs a fire extinguisher when you have my lungs? Don't smoke that. It is I, the Rocket Man. Okay, give me something, Rocket! Look at that! Wow! It's a final countdown! Ta -da -da -da. I can't sing this, it's copyrighted. <laughs> okay, so the ABS fuel was much more powerful than I was expecting. And bright! And when I say bright, I mean really, really bright. It was able to illuminate my entire attic. I think ABS is a great fuel to keep on testing. But first I need to make some upgrades. Firstly, I need a nozzle. So I guess on the next video I'll be testing some different geometry nozzles to convert all that energy into thrust. Also, I need a strong body for the rocket, and I also need a better setup to test the engines. Yeah, I think I can get some real power out of that 3D printed fuel. Now, I know that not everyone watching my videos has a 3D printer at home to print some rocket fuel, and that is just not right. To diminish the problem in my last video, I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Wall C2, and he suggested that I could build a CNC CO2 laser. Well, I could use some CNC machines. Actually, I gave away another 3D printer during a challenge in my Discord server, and the winner was Master Will, which was kind enough to livestream the unboxing of his new 3D printer. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. You can also join us in the Intagza Discord server. Link in the description down below. Well, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! And I can't eat stop. I can stop eating tomatoes. You should. Guys, we're gonna sh show you how, how our power. Come on, let's go. Wait. <laughs> Wait, oh! Are you, can, can you see it? Oh, oh! Uh oh! Power, power has no battery.
Do you mean gas? Yes, because a lighter would have battery, you stupid girl. <laughs> <laughs>